Today I'm going to get Google Duo working on your new Google Chromecast. Now we're going to need some accessories and all the links are down below in the description. First, we have a hub from Anchor and a power cube that I purchased from Anchor and I'll give you some of the specs here as we go. But this is called a seven in one USB-C PD ethernet hub. And what we're going to use it for is to essentially connect all of the different components that we're going to set up. So it has a couple of standard USB ports, an Ethernet port, which you don't need for this, and then it has an HDMI, a micro SD, and an SD, and then a power input port there for you. Now, it also has a connected USB-C connector here, and that is going to go into our display, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute here. They also give you a little bag or a little carrying bag for this anchor hub this specific one now our power cube that i purchased is a 60 watt and i've seen tech with brett actually use down to a 48 watt addition here so you'll notice this is a USB-C input. You could use a different input, but I don't think you wanna go any lower than 48 watts. Now I have a USB-C to USB-C cable and that is because of the power cube and I'm connecting it from the power input into that power cube and now I have my power situation set up. Now that cable that's already attached to the Anchor Hub is going directly into my Chromecast. That's because it's the display adapter. One thing I want to note is what you got with the Chromecast itself is a USB-C to a standard USB cable. You're really not going to be able to use that with this specific setup, but you can look at other power cubes. Now, here's my Logitech webcam, and I took this straight from my computer. It has a standard USB connector, and I'm going to plug that into one of the two ports. It doesn't matter which one on the back, but now we're ready to go. It's that camera to the USB and the USB-C into the Chromecast, plus our power cable. Again, all the links are down below to what I've purchased. Now you have to connect the Chromecast into the back of your TV and then plug in your power cube and you're ready to go. Set up your webcam wherever you'd like and then you're going to download the Duo application from the apps menu and you're going to hit the open button and if you've previously connected your phone number to your Google account that you've used to set up the Chromecast, this is all that's going to happen to you is you're just going to have to allow a couple of permissions to give access to that camera. Otherwise, if you haven't done that, you will have to go through a short setup process here. And in general, what I would recommend is that you just set it up on a phone under that Google account and then you come back to this application. Much easier to go through it that way. Now after that, you're able to pick through your contacts that are uploaded. And you might have to wait a little bit of time to get those to upload here but once you do you can start a voice or a video call hey. <laughs> can you hear me yeah how's it going good you now what's great with this whole setup is that you can do so much more. So check out our hidden tips and tricks with the Google Chromecast. It will include a number of other peripherals that you can use with this and gain a lot out of. So check that video out. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.